Hi everyone, it's me again. And this time I am going to show you how to dismantle a hard disk drive karaoke player from Platinum. This is the uh, Piano XL hard disk drive karaoke player. For those who have this player, which is still under warranty and wants to see what's inside their player, this is your chance to see and to have a look at the different components inside the player. Okay, let's start. This is the player we're going to open. It's uh, the Platinum Piano XL HDD. This is a hard disk drive version. And uh, this is the front panel which is uh, got now the number 4 in the reverse position don't think that that is the defect but that is the way how platinum put their number 4 it's just like a uh, letter P now when it's in the reverse position and as you can see here that's the uh, part wherein there's no more USB connector because this is a hard disk drive now and uh, we have this uh, treble, bass, mic, echo and the boost control on the side of the player you can see the hard disk drive tray and at the back of the player you can see connectors for the coaxial the audio left and right the score connector the coin connector the composite video connector with the yellow RCA and the mic 1 and 2 and we have a uh, micro SD card port HDMI port to your TV and it says here the model is SD140 Piano XL HDD so on the back there are uh, five screws one two three four five two remove and one each side of the uh, player that uh, screw the uh, the sticker warranty sticker was there but I already removed it before and one on the other side for the hard disk drive uh, trays so using a screwdriver Phillips screwdriver, the bigger one, removing all these screws, and put them on a good uh, tray, so that you won't lose them. These are metal screws, self-tapping metal screws. And one on the side. And lastly, on the other side. Okay, we have to remove now the cover and let's see what is inside this karaoke player. There, you see the components inside, the PCBs and those connectors. This is the power supply, that's the hard disk drive it's a uh, underneath the power supply that is the mic board the echo board and um, um, the main board underneath and we have also this uh, Wi-Fi board 
Now we can dismantle all these uh, components and let's see what do we have here. Press, remove the hard disk drive. That's the one. It says Piano XL. That was uh, dated January 2020 and it is a one terabyte capacity it's a barracuda seagate brand set that aside now we have a we have to remove these uh, connectors from the power supply just pull them out and there are four screws to remove Set them aside again. And this the last screw. That's it. And then need this uh, power supply PCB. There is a uh, plastic uh, insulator. Set that aside. So let's have a look what this power supply has. Yes, it's a switching power supply with all these uh, regulators, and that is the low side, and that is the high side. It's called the hot side that goes directly to the AC power supply 220 volts 230 volts or 240 volts wherever you are this is auto volt anyway so that is the PCB track side and uh, it's using surface mount devices resistors diodes and capacitors that's the switching transformer and it looks like uh, it's common for all the uh, power supplies switching power supplies this is the mic and effects board and to remove that one we use a flat nose pliers to remove the nuts for the phone connector they call it PL55 these are plastic nuts there are three connectors to this uh, mic board two without locks and one with the lock so to remove that one just press the lock and pull it up be careful not to break it and this one doesn't have a lock so just uh, pull it out straight and now this is what uh, we have here for the mic This is the effects uh, IC and these are the preamp ICs and uh, there's not much on the track side. So these are now the two mic inputs. To remove this hard disk tray, there are four metal screws in there. And uh, with our magnetic screwdriver, we can remove them. As I said before, it's better to use magnetic screwdriver so that you can take out the screws easily. But then, 
be careful to use magnetic screwdrivers on parts that are prone to static electricity and uh, we have two connectors here that goes to the PCB that's the data and then the supply board so we set those connector aside and there we have now the tray as you can see it's all plastic and on this tray you will find the SATA controller it's a small board that uh, communicates uh, to the USB controller on the main board this is the board that is not available on the SD version the Piano XL SD and uh, yeah, there are some more ICs in there, but not much. It's just an, a controller IC in there for the SATA hard disk drive. So, as you can see here, this is the hard disk caddy. You can put in there and slide it. It goes to that SATA connector and locks. There. Nice one. Fits inside. What is left on the chassis now is the main board. The main board has uh, four metal screws and this uh, RCI connectors and two screws on the back holding the RCI connectors. So we have to remove those two. and uh, we have a connector there the others are hanging already plus this uh, Wi-Fi board so we just remove that because this is already got a header that you can unplug it from the board the the header the connector now we can remove the four screws and we can take it out from the chassis right we can uh, take this out and here we go our main board so we have this board now that is the memory IC the RAM that is the MIDI IC from uh, France the Dream SAM 2634 and this is the CPU some more ICs here now to remove the front panel there are uh, screws on the side one counter sunk screw there there's another counter sunk screw there and three more counter sunk screws from the bottom so we just remove this one
the other side, the last one. We just slide the panel out. And we have the front panel taken out from the chassis. To remove this uh, display and control PCB, there are six screws and there are two connectors in that so we just remove this the other one and, uh, the six uh, screws Last one. Slowly lifting the board up. There. This is the display and control board. We have this infrared receiver there the six digit display the potentiometers the IC and it says here piano 2 version 3.3 .3. there are the switches there the push button and this is the PCB track side no parts in there this is the numeric and reserve background video cancel uh, buttons so we don't need to remove that one because they are only rubbers what we have here now are the major parts the boards we have this uh, main board we have the display board, we have the power supply board, we have the mic and effects board, and the little Wi-Fi board. So these are the major components and of course the hard disk now and the display board panel well to put them back together we have to do the reverse way when we remove all these components from the chassis thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.